is Christmas Eve. You look like baby Jesus right now. What a nice thing. What better food haul than a Christmas food haul? How many pigs in blankets do you normally eat on Christmas Day? I bought myself a little present actually. Christmas dinner preparation is in full swing. Say happy Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is the 22nd of December, so it's nearly Christmas. Um, we had a really lovely walk this morning. Today is the first day where it's been so cold that it's actually frosty, like the cars were frosted up this morning. The grass was frosty on our walk, but it was so nice. But Sunny's now asleep and obviously it's nearly Christmas, so Sunny has got some presents to open. <laughs> She's actually got quite a lot of presents, hasn't she? Loads, far too many. But because it was cheaper to buy these toys as a bundle, so I just got her the whole bundle, but now she's got quite a lot. She's already got way too many toys. So I've cleared her toys out again, and we're over at Dogs Trust this morning to go and do a little drop off. Oh look, there's another dog. Aww. We wanted to do it before Christmas because then we thought the dogs can have the toys for Christmas. So we've got loads of stuff with us. Here we are. This is Dogs Trust Basildon. It's the closest one to us. I kind of wish we could go in and see all the dogs. No, I'm not going in. <laughs> Why? I want to see oh, them. I don't want to see them. It's sad. But they might have homes next year. Then they won't be here anymore. I know. Yeah, we're not going to go and see the dogs. Here's all their toys for the little doggies. See, there are some Christmassy ones, but Sunny's not a massive fan of like soft toys like this anymore, and she also has loads. So I sorted through them all. There's some different textures for them. Hopefully they'll like them. Let's go. We decided our good deed of the day needed a McDonald's to treat ourselves. Who decided? Me. <laughs> I've got a festive chicken burger because it was so nice when I tried it the other day. And I've also got cheese melt dippers because I don't know when these stop being sold. This is going to be the last McDonald's I get before Christmas. And when do they cut off the festive cheese bites? This may be my last ones of the year. Devastating news for me. Anyway, so, we're on our way home now. I'm sorry, but isn't this the cutest delivery ever from Coco and Eve? They've sent milk and cookies for Santa. Obviously oat milk, modern day and age and all that. Obviously they've sent some hair products as well. These are my favorite shampoo and conditioner. Also a little hair mask in there in the cutest bag, but let's open the cookies. I've been waiting to open these for you guys. Milk and cookies for Santa, so cute. Adorable, Santa will not be eating these though. I will be eating them today. Thank you very much, Coco and Eve. Back again in the car. It is actually a different day now though. It's the next day, it's Thursday. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve and mum and I have just come over to Waitrose, how posh of us, to get our like few little Christmassy bits. We need some party food for our starter. We need like pigs in blankets. Although, I don't think they're going to have any. The queue is so busy, we're not even in the car park yet. Surely the pigs in blankets are going to be top of everyone's list, aren't they? Must be. We'll see how we get on, but I'm excited to see like the posh party food. Usually, M&S is our posh limit. That's like about as posh as we usually shop. <laughs> but we thought we'd treat ourselves to Waitrose this year. How formal. <laughs> We're home. Look at my Christmas jumper today, guys. This was sent to me from Benefit. How cute. It's really nice quality as well. Like, I've worn it a lot this December. It's got little presents, snow globe, etc. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've done a food haul. So I thought, what better food haul than a Christmas food haul? By the time you're watching this, we will have eaten most of this food. Hope you had a lovely Christmas, by the way. Definitely should have said that at the beginning of this vlog, but I only realized today that it's gonna be Boxing Day by the time you watch this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, this is what we got from Waitrose, and we popped to M&S as well, because Waitrose, not gonna lie, didn't really provide the goods, especially in the starter section. I've been looking for the perfect Christmas mug since like the 1st of November. Finally found this one with festive dogs on it in Waitrose, six pound, I'm well chuffed with that. We've got Brussels sprouts on a stick, a broccoli, two little lemons, a cauliflower, some bread with seven seeds in, crumpets for Christmas morning, some wild rocket, the worst kind of lettuce, not gonna lie, breadsticks from Italy, onion and chive twists. Imagine the bad breath they're gonna give. And in case they're not stinky enough, we've got some mature cheddar and chive crisps, orange juice for the bucks fizz in the morning, apple juice, these little crostinis for the starter, pretzels, a variety of cheeses, including French brie, Somerset cheddar, and some Stilton, disgusting cheddar twists sneaky bit of ham hiding under there gherkins and pickled onions extra thick double cream coleslaw smoked salmon again for christmas morning not to go with the crumpets never fear hummus olives a variety of cold meats for the starter i love any chorizo type thing we found them 
pigs in blankets and we were so happy about it. We bought two packets. How many pigs in blankets do you normally eat on Christmas day? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not actually excessive. I usually have three or four. Now this isn't for Christmas, this is for tomorrow lunchtime. But it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, so it kind of is. Margarita pizza and a packet of peas. That's everything from Waitrose. You're probably thinking, Han, where's your starter? I know, I thought that too. I mean, all of the savory things and the cold meats are kind of for the starter as well. But the actual starter, the main event is from M&S. We've got mozzarella sticks. These little barbecue pork bad boys. Mac and cheese bites, had these last year, delicious. And these chicken donut dippers, I'm not sure how I feel about them, I'm not gonna lie. To go with the crumpets, we've got strawberry and champagne jam, how posh. Speaking of posh, we've got posh profiteroles. These are so cute, they've got little stars on them, adorable. And finally, carrots and bread. And that, my friends, is our Christmas shop. Happy Christmas! It's Christmas Eve! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. I've got my Christmas scrunchie in, a little Santa scrunchie, cute. I'm all ready for the day, I'm ready to feel festive. I do actually feel really festive. I have actually this year, a lot. I've seen lots of people online saying they haven't really felt in the Christmas spirit. I have actually. Got all my Christmas shopping done fairly early. I bought myself a little present actually. I bought this um, lip sleeping mask. I am so easily influenced by TikTok. It's actually dangerous. I saw one girl post a TikTok saying, gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear this Laneige lip sleeping mask all the time. And I was like, hmm. I quite like the thought of a lip sleeping mask all the time. I've got plenty of lip balms. They're right in this drawer here, that one. <laughs> I didn't need another, but you best believe I went on to Cult Beauty and I got myself this. I got the grapefruit one, but then literally after I purchased it that same day, like probably three hours later, saw another TikTok of a girl saying that you can get this from TK Maxx for 11 99 I paid 21 pounds for this. So that's what I get for being too spontaneous. Sunny's down here. Not sure if you've actually seen Sunny in this vlog. Sunny Doodles, what are you doing? Oh, yesterday I emptied out my advent calendar and I put treats for her in it and she absolutely loved opening all the little doors and trying to get the treats out, but she has destroyed it a little bit. There's no more though. That's a shame, isn't it? I know, so sad. She said, I'll just sit here and wait for you to put some treats in it, honey. I'll just sit and wait. You can come and help me open this. 24th of December. It's our last day of Advent, Sunny. Wow. We've got two gold ones. Say happy Christmas. My mum's just hoovering downstairs, so I thought I'd quickly show you this. But for Christmas, I've got her Stacey Dooley tickets. But they haven't arrived yet because the show isn't until the end of February. But I went on Etsy and found these foil fake ticket things and had one made. I've shown it on my Instagram a few times. Um, and I've had lots of questions about it as well. You can add a personalised message, you put all your information in, like where you're sat, the date of the show, where it is, and then you can request like what picture you want on it. Like for example, I just put, please put a picture of Stacey Dooley on it, because I thought it was a bit of a niche show. And I'm going to put it in the little envelope and put it in the Christmas tree. And I think what a nice thing to like give someone. So if you've got any tickets for Christmas or birthdays, I'd highly recommend this. I'll leave a link to their Etsy page down in the description. I believe it's called foil and ink but don't quote me on that it could be ink and foil <laughs> so we've just come out for our christmas eve walk i'm on my phone because i didn't want to bring my camera but sunny's got her christmas outfit on we've come to the woods because she's going to have a bath later on so she can get as muddy as she likes and it doesn't matter sunny's such a monkey when we're out on walks she just stops like she did just then because she knows when we've like practiced recall and we call her back to us, she gets a treat when she comes back. Look, she's looking at me for a treat now. I stopped and now I'm here and that means treat. That doesn't mean treat. You don't get it if you stop on purpose. She's going to do it again, look. Sunny, come. Oh, you're a monkey. <laughs> as soon as I put my hand in my pocket, she comes back. But other times she'll just stand there, put all the brakes on. All four paws dug firmly into the ground. Here she goes though. Happy as Larry now, because I've just given her a treat. <laughs> She's too clever for us. There she goes, look. I'll wait here, honey. You call me back and then I get a treat. Sunny, come. <laughs> I'll give you three guesses who's just had their Christmas bath. Anyone else's dog gets zoomies after a bath? Sunny. Off she goes. <laughs> Woof. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cool. And then once the whizzes are finished, we have a big cuddle to dry off in the towel. The whole vlog today is going to be me saying, Happy Christmas! You look like baby Jesus right now.
Christmas vibes. I'm about to tell you something gross. Um, on the way to the woods, Sunny's bum gland expressed. If you've got a dog, you know that smell. It is vile. So thank God she was due a bath anyway. She's had a bath. She's actually almost dry now. The only bit left to dry is like the back of her head. Here she goes proper curly. And I've just been editing this vlog. And I've just got a cup of tea. Here she is down here. Not in a Christmas mug though. So I do feel I'm lacking in that department slightly. But my festive dogs are in the wash. Anyway, I've got a piece of Stollen. Has anybody else heard of Stollen? Because I'd never heard of it until this year. And now I'm obsessed. It's so nice. This one's from Waitrose. And oh my god, it's unreal. Normally I'm not the biggest fan of raisins. But I love marzipan. And it's got like a streak of marzipan through it. It's so delicious. I'm going to have my cup of tea. Have my Stollen. I think it's german and i think it's christmasy i don't think they have stolen all year round don't know why i think that i've not googled it or anything just me assuming but yeah christmas eve little bit of stolen cup of tea and a comfy little sunny to cuddle so wholesome i know christmas dinner preparation is in full swing right now does anyone else do their christmas dinner the day before and then obviously we don't cook it but chop everything up oh you've done the swede i've done the swede over here carrot. We've done the cabbage as well. The cabbage isn't for Christmas dinner, but we've got the Sweden carrots. I'm about to do the broccoli and the cauliflower. And Potatoes are over here. Oh, we need parsnips as well. Yeah. We've got the cheese for the cauliflower cheese. Is that normal to have that for Christmas dinner? I don't think it is. Never mind, we do. And um, we've got stuff in. The turkey's just arrived. So my first job, what is it? Broccoli. broccoli cauliflower, please. Merry Christmas, honey. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year It's pouring with rain outside, which, not gonna lie, not really making me feel the most Christmassy ever for Christmas Eve. But something that is making me feel Christmassy is I'm just about to write the cards for my family. We do like close family cards on Christmas Day. We put them in the tree. But I've also got my mum and dad a card from Sunny this year. And it's so cute. I'm literally more excited to give them this card. Well, for Sunny to give them this card than for me to give them their presents. Like, this card for me is the number one thing. It's so cute. Sunny's already written the card but she's gonna put a paw print in it. So I'm gonna go and do that now, attempt to anyway, with a bit of water-based paint. Usually my mum helps me do this when Sunny's signing her cards. Um, yes, we are insane, but obviously my mum can't help me because the card is for her. So wish me luck. <laughs> and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and Right, this is what it turned out like. Obviously, Sunny wrote this. So it's to my family. Found this on Etsy. I think me being your grand dog is enough of a Christmas gift. You're welcome. How sweet. And then inside, there are a few paw prints because the first didn't go too well. It says, to my best family, happy Christmas. I love you both very, very much. And the treats you give me too. Love from Sunny. This is the paw print, the first attempt. I think there was too much paint on her paw. And then these happened. <laughs> Honestly, the kitchen looked like a murder scene, but how cute. I know they're gonna love it as well, which is why I'm so excited for her to give it to them tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up early because obviously it is Christmas day tomorrow and I'm not gonna be vlogging Christmas day. I hope you guys have had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate it. I hope you got to spend time with your friends and family and to any of you who are isolating this year, I hope you managed to have a nice day anyway. I hope you treated yourself to some chocolates even if you can't taste them. I wanna say a massive thank you to all of you who have supported the weekly vlogs this year. I am gonna take a week off now so there won't be a vlog next Sunday but they will return in the new year. I really appreciate it and I'm excited to see what next year's vlogs hold who knows but do subscribe to stick around come along for the ride i can't promise it'll be exciting every week but i can promise there'll be a cute dog thanks for watching happy new year almost and i'll see you again very soon with another little video bye guys love ya